Okay. Welcome to the 27th semi-annual Miss Bachelor Cook-Off competition. Gee, that's a mouthful. <laughs> now I know all you watching at home on Food Network 2 are wondering why I'm not putting on my co competition oven mitts. Well, unfortunately the board decided that eight consecutive wins was enough for a guy like me and should pass on my title as Miss Spatula and instead host the competition. What? What do you want? I don't... Wrap it up! Well, I guess it's time to see what the contestants are up to. I am Martha Stewart Living. I am a competing in a competition called the Miss Spatula. I will be making my old-fashioned tea cakes. You'll need eggs, butter, vanilla, I personally like to use the vanilla beans from my own garden to make my vanilla, baking powder, sugar, and flour. First, we will cream the sugar and butter. And what's great about my tea cakes is they're great for yacht christenings, casual cocktail get-togethers, and betting on your own horse in the derby. What's even better about them is they're not as sweet as the poor Rachel Ray's tea cakes. So where did you come up with your recipe? Well, one day on a cold winter evening, I decided that while I was drinking tea that it would be really nice to have some tea cakes to go along with it. Very simple. So I put some few ingredients together and I got my wonderful tea cake. Due to the time constraints of the show, we don't have all the time we need to roll out the dough. So I just have them already rolled out here and I'm going to place them in the oven for, at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. And again, due to time constraints, I have some already pre-made, and if you really like, you can actually put some strawberry uh, flavoring on top. Oh, there's some flour spilled. Ramen! Clean up the flour. It is so hard to find good help these days. Ramen! It is Ramon! Ramen, you had moved one of the mint leaves when you had walked by so fast. Excuse me while I talk to the help. That is how you make old-fashioned tea cakes. Let's see what the other contestants are up to. We are now in the kitchen of Biagio Verme, who is preparing his main course. What are you making, Biagio? This I like to call pizza. Fantastically unique dish my mama used to make. Um, yeah. Well, Biagio, that's... That's an interesting name. Does it mean anything? Yeah, it means in Italian, the great limping worm. So, first we make some dough and toss it, which you unfortunately just missed. Then we spread the sauce on, and now we're getting ready to grate the cheese. <laughs> so, what is your reason for joining the Miss Batch of the Cook-Off competition as the first straight man to compete? Well, you see, I know the truth about these cooking ladies. They may enjoy cooking for their men, but they enjoy it so much more when real men cook for them. So, uh, tell me, would you like some pepperoni on your pizza? Now it's time to put it in the oven. Well, now it's time for me to go see what the other contestants are up to. Wait. I'm sad to see you go. And it is uh, a great disappointment that I will not be cooking inside you. Uh, well, uh... Mm -hmm. Goodbye. My mom always said the best kind of meal is a home-cooked meal. Sounds like some fresh squirrel! We are now at Betty Roosevelt's place, and she has finished her dough and is starting to work on her filling. Boy, I sure wish you could meet my husband. He's such a nice guy. It's really too bad he's not here right now. Business trip. Of course, Nancy, my neighbor, says that he's with his secretary, Cheryl. But that's impossible. I mean, 
He's not that stupid. So, to the apples, we're going to add a little pinch of salt, a lot of sugar, white sugar, and brown sugar, brown cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of butter just to drop on top. You know, I don't really trust that, Nancy. Ever since Grace told me that she was sleeping with the mayor so she could win the garden contest, well, I always knew she was a whore. Besides, man, that's Cheryl. She used to be our babysitter. I mean, she's just 19 years younger than me. She's only 19. Don't I look like I'm 19 years younger than I am? I get Botox three times a week. I mean, come on. There's enough poison in my face. I'll be smiling till Tuesday. Woo! Anyway, though. That's just the way it is. Could you uh, pass me a cup of sugar? Sure. Thanks, honey. Now for a taste. Did we think this contest would be a success? Hell no. I mean, this was made up back in my get-rich-quick days. I mean, we charged housewives a thousand dollars to enter for some spray-painted golden oven mitts. I don't know why they get so excited. I mean, we're the ones who get the free food.